How to be successful in online dating. Come to think of it, online dating is not that different from your typical job interview. Seriously planning your online interactions and being honest throughout the process will certainly carry you a long way toward meeting your life partner. Find out how to ferret out the type of person who is right for you. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. And uh, if you're doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. <laughs> That's great. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to be successful in online day. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to bring humor to the table. It's very important. People are so serious online. But if your job is to, you know, to, to attract a partner, you want to show your funny side. You know, you want to show your uh, your your down to earth side. It's very important. And humor is a great element when it comes to breaking down barriers. You don't want to to uh, expose yourself in a serious manner. No, people who take themselves seriously are not really successful in online dating. Now, I'm not saying to to construct an, a different persona that is way different than what you really are in real life but what i'm trying to say is try to try to put a pinch you know a pinch of humor into the whole conversation and you can do this while talking to uh while talking to people you can do this in your description you can do this in your online profile try to be funny and and when it comes to being funny try to stay away from controversial topics right try to have light humor that is uh, that is appreciated by everybody right this is very important you don't want the first impression in your profile to be the wrong one okay this is very important now research has shown that uh, men who can be spontaneously funny are said to be creatively intelligent right so if you're a man for instance and you can extract some kind of laughter from uh, a woman the first time she reads your profile the way the first time she stops by your profile that's a great sign already right number two you want to upload an honest non photoshop profile picture you know folks this is very important this is a this is a proven criterion that has been going on for many years despite that many people still continue to put pictures that were taken 15 years ago or 20 years ago or 15 pounds or 20 pounds or 100 pounds ago right you know lying about their their age lying about their uh, their physical appearance lying about the weights lying about everything and this is not a solid basis for a long-term relationship again this is what i said earlier online dating is similar to a job interview if your if your goal is to do something serious is to look for a serious partner you want to start you want to start out the conversation with something honest by being honest yourself so that you can expect to attract honest people right so you know try to upload an honest a true picture of yourself the most recent picture of yourself right if somebody's going to be interested in you they might as well just know what you look like and not be surprised on the first day that you know you're basically shorter than you thought that you said you were or basically uh you know more obese than you thought you were those kind of things are just bad all right so be yourself number three be strategic with opening lines now what is an opening line an opening line can be when you an opening line is basically the first line when you start with someone the first line you utter when you st when you talk to someone it can be um, you know electronically talking to the person or, or in real life or over the phone now if you start a chat make sure you are very strategic for instance you know don't use the overused and the repetitive lines such as yeah you know i i think i've met you in a previous life or you look like somebody very dear to me no those are lame be creative come up with something new something that something that defines you a line that defines who you are who you are if you are a funny person show it in your opening line if you are more uh, the uh, the the scientific or the, or the or the tech ways kind of person or a geek kind of person show it in your opening line you want to adapt the line to your creativity and to your personality right this is very important you know again i talked about being funny so you can you can insert fun and humor into the opening line all those are okay they're they're perfect all right i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere
Welcome back folks to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I hope you are doing fantastic. We're still continuing our conversation around how to be successful in online dating. If you like the content clarity and quality so far, please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you are aware of new shows. We drop this kind of shows every single day, rain or shine. Also, please share the content, comment below and like it. The next thing you want to do, you want to write an impeccable an impeccable short and not too serious profile description now i spoke earlier about not being very serious when it comes to i mean not too serious when it comes to online dating but you want to write a very short concise and impeccable profile description now when it comes to online dating there are people who there are professionals who have um, who who will give you advice who would they will even write your own online profile descriptions but you don't have to spend money for that. Just be short. I'm talking about one paragraph. Okay. One paragraph where you talk about yourself in a very interesting way, in a creative way. Right. And, and this is what I call impeccable. Now, don't start talking about your, your academic degrees. The fact that you have a PhD or you making uh, $1 million a year. No, just talk about yourself. How, you know, your parents would talk about yourself. If you're successful, say it, but don't brag. Don't brag too much. Don't, don't over brag. All right. The idea here is to find a, a, you know, the right middle to strike a good balance between not over bragging, but also not, you know, dumbing down the, the content or underestimating yourself, right? You want to put yourself out there and still be seen as someone who is attractive, someone who, who would be a, uh, a good, uh, a good mate. All right. The, the next thing you want to do is try to make the right decision. When it comes to online dating, you need to constantly think of yourself as applying for a job, applying, applying for a position, right? You're trying to conquer somebody's heart. You're trying to establish a potentially long-term relationship with someone, right? So be strategic. Do you have to advertise your profile? Why not? You know some platforms and apps allow you to do that so if you feel that you have the money and you really you really want to attract that uh, specific person go ahead and advertise your profile do you need to uh, do you need to filter specific uh, women or men you are interested in go ahead and do that do you want to put something in your profile and provide the description that can uh, discourage non-serious partners non-serious applicants go ahead and do that right because as you are applying for a job, others are also applying to get your job, right? To actually conquer your heart. So, you know, it goes both ways. So you want to be serious, but you also want to make sure that you, you're attracting people who are serious. Now, when it comes to, you know, what I'm trying to say here is serious in this case means someone who is serious about a relationship, not a player, not someone who is just there for sex. As somebody who's just there to fulfill temporary you know carnal pleasures no if you want something serious you got to invest in it another th another thing you need to do is use a website app in sync with the kind of partner you seek right there are a lot of uh, dating apps out there i'm not going to name names but use an app that that matches your uh, you know your ideal partner for instance, you have apps that are, that are based on faith, you know, religion. You have apps that are based on your on the career. There are apps that are based on geography. So if you're looking for, say, a man, uh, an American man, or you're looking for a Russian woman, there are apps. That, there are apps for that. The market is really big. You know, this is a multi-billion-dollar market. The, the online dating market is a mental as a multi-billion-dollar market. So. The, the the supply is diverse as is the demand so you want to really uh, explore your options you want to expand your options and explore as much as possible before embarking on an online date uh, dating uh, journey so you know it's very important for you that to, you you want to find out exactly what's there in terms of opportunities in terms of uh, in terms of platform that will make your um, your dating process a lot smoother because you want to focus on specific niche groups you want to go on niche websites you want to pick niche apps right 
the last thing you want is to find yourself let's say you are in your 50s and you find yourself on, on an app or you know on a platform on a dating platform that caters to young people right it might be flattering for a while to get uh, views and uh, you know, profile views and uh, messages from young folks but in the end that's not what you're looking for right you look if you're looking for a serious relationship if you're in your 50s you're not looking for a, a tw- you know someone in their 20s at, at least that's what i would hope for and that's what people would uh, you know the majority of people will hope for but you know so you want to focus on your specific niche all right i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Key, where we're still talking about how to be successful in online dating. And uh, I also want to talk to you again about, you know, the next step is decide when to meet and figure out beforehand how to interact during the meeting. So let's say you found your, uh, your significant other or your potential, your potential significant other, right? You love her or him. You're comfortable. You've been chatting for the last three months. And it looks like he or she is the right person for you. You click, as they say, right? You probably even have done some uh, some Skype calls and everything is fine. And uh, you, you probably, if you're lucky, you probably even talked over the phone. And now you have to meet. Now, make sure that you, you figure out beforehand what kind of interactions you want to have during the meeting, right? And how long would the meeting be? Because believe it or not, there is a, there's a huge difference between I would say online chemistry and real life chemistry. So you want you want to think about all the scenarios beforehand. And the more you think about those things the better because this can help you figure out how to how to really uh, how to really um, interact and how to really you know quote unquote escape if the meeting's not going right. All right? And the thing here is that you have to think about the uh all the obstacles or all the hurdles to a good meeting to a good date right so turn off your phone turn off your cell phone right you want to be in the moment you want to concentrate you want to focus on the person in front of you you want to look good you want to look your best you want to impress the person you want to be natural right natural natural always works so decide when to meet and figure out beforehand how to interact during the meeting. Now, don't go for it, don't fall for any pushing, any pressuring, you know, nobody should be pressuring anybody. You know, you both are consenting adults, and again, the foundation of your relationship, if it works out, should be solid from the get-go. All right, folks, this is about it. You know, I'm, I'm sure you learned something from this the show on how to be successful in online dating. And if you like the show, if you like the content, clarity, and quality so far, please consider subscribing to our channel. Turn on the notification bell so you can be uh, informed whenever we drop a, a new mail. Please also like, comment, and uh, share this show. Now, let's just recap. To be successful in online dating, bring humor to the table. Upload a genuine non-Photoshop profile picture. Be strategic with opening lines. Write an impeccable, short, and not too serious profile description. Make the right decisions. Use a website or app in sync with the kind of partner you seek. Decide when to meet and figure out beforehand how to interact during the meeting. This is this is about it, folks. Now, before I close, here is today's call, calls to action. In every show, we like to give uh, our viewers and listeners and um fans some kind of some kind of calls to action you know make sure that your dating bio is true and does you justice that's what i was saying earl i was saying earlier you don't want to exaggerate but you also don't want to underestimate yourself too much right so um you know but another thing you want to do is online please stay safe Stay safe online. Use things. Use all the tools. If someone is to push you, to pressure you, don't go for it. Don't meet them. Right? Your safety first. Right? The thing here is that try not to call, text, tweet, or generally contact your uh, the 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 person you met online too often. Right? And you know, meet somewhere, which I should have said before. If you decide to meet, meet somewhere you feel comfortable. Somewhere where you feel safe right 
and also while talking to your partner talking to your new uh, your new um, partner avoid mentioning your ex all right and and when it comes to actually have you know making a good impression you can offer to pay that's okay all right thank you so much for listening to me i will see you next time and until then stay marvelous <laughs>